So, in this video, we're going to look at how to do a Wilcox and Sign Rank test using SPSS. We're going to follow the instructions in Chapter 8 of the book, and we're also, and you might want to have that open when we do this, and we're also going to use the example data from that chapter on uh, Bitcoin Sheep. Here is a data file in front of me. You can either make this data file yourself, and there's a separate help sheet and video on entering data, or you can uh, download a pre-prepared data set from the online resource center. Before we get into the analysis, let's just check, let's just have a quick review of the data set. This is data view, and we've got our IDs for our use here, and for each U, we've got the percentage of uh, time without uh, they grazed when they weren't, didn't have lambs and when they did have lambs. And this is a related data set. And we've got two samples of data. We've got one for when they were without lambs, one for when they were with lambs, um, and this is just as a reference um, a column and it won't be used in the analysis. You might just go and check variable view. Um, I think it's a good idea actually to have this all set on on, on the none um, and, uh, and and the rest if you want to find out more what the rest means uh, look at the help sheet and a video on entering data. Okay let's get on with the analysis. Uh, we're going to go to analysis non-parametric we've got related samples so we go here we um, want to customize our analysis on that tab. So go to the fields tab. Uh, we select our variables uh, that we want to uh, include in the analysis. There we go. Flick those across. And in our settings, we want to make sure we're going to do the test we wanted to do. So there's the Mitt Wilcox and Sign Rank test. And um, let's have an estimate of the FX size and its confidence intervals. We're all set there. So we're going to run the test. And in the output, we've got the hypothesis test summary. Let's double click on that to bring up the model viewer window, which has got more information in it. Um, if we click on here, when it says view, if you change that to the confidence interval summary, we've got everything you need in front of you. This is uh, the test statistic over here. This is the uh, sample sizes. And from here, you can get the number of tied sample uh, pairs. This is our p-value here. And over here, then, an estimate of the effect size and the confidence intervals of that effect size. So, um, there, that's all the information you need to, to report uh, for a Wilcoxon sign rank test. That's it. Done.